it's just a couple of more homeless camps that we do have back here that our uh, veterans do sleep at, homeless veterans sleep at. In outreach, we constantly are beating the bush or out in the wooded areas in pursuit of veterans. For our heroes to be living in conditions um, such as this is, is totally un unacceptable. It is still today just as sad and painful to see a, a, a veteran under those conditions as if it was 20 years ago for myself. Hey, bro. We, we don't have very much to offer, but we will offer you what we got here, right? Okay, buddy. We were taught to watch my back and I'll watch your back. You take care of me and I'll take care of you. So it, it plays a very important role. And you know, the thing they taught us, we take care of our own, you know what I mean? Huh? No, I take care of myself. Okay. We, got our, we each got our fight. I got my fight to go out and assist as many as possible. You got your fight, and you fight it every day. So let's try and fight this one together here. And just being persistent with it, but yet being kind, not disrespectful. Yeah. <laughs> when he agreed to come in, I was so relieved. I felt this overwhelming joy. When approaching him, asked if he was a veteran. Of course, he stated, yes, I'm a veteran. Was in the um, 101st Airborne. And immediately, he began to tear up. Look at you, bro. This isn't, this isn't how you do life. You, you, you torn. Why? Why? I mean, why do you continue? How could I not feel his pain? when I know his pain, it's mine. How can I turn my back and walk away and leave you right here? You can't? I can't. I can't. Because I know you wouldn't turn your back and leave me. As we continued to discuss the conditions and situation as it was, he became overwhelmed. The work to be done, it's, it's endless. So. We continue to look, and we continue the mission that we have, and that's No Man Left Behind. Tell us about your hero at CNN.com slash heroes.